everybody. You will not believe the trouble I've had today. <laughs> I had real problems yesterday with my um, recording software because um, it turns out that it was way, way too powerful for my clunky computer. But I've been using it for two years and then I did an update and it just ground everything to a halt. So I had to try and find something else. And I've downloaded about two or three different versions of various recording software and the lag was unbelievable the audio and video was out of sync it was a nightmare and i said i wouldn't do or use obs because it was you just need a, a like a massive learning curve to figure out how to do things but um it seems to be the only software that doesn't cause a lag so i've given in this is being recorded on obs and I said I wouldn't use it, but there you go. Anyway, I can't do green screen, or I'm not aware that I can use green screen. So I've got this uh, little green area behind me. So you'll just have to deal with it for now, I'm afraid. But it's the only way I can get a video out to you. So what I was going to do yesterday but couldn't was test out two mods. First one, which we're going to look at now, is called the Haunted Mirror. Now, what we have to do is I've got a house here, which I got down from the gallery and i've got the four sims that i used for the um survival challenge last year well they used to be a bit of bad luck aren't they so i might as well just carry on using them in this so what we need to do first of all is find a blank wall that will do now if we go into build and buy mode ah i've got music at last i just realized i didn't uh, click the sound but never mind Anyway, if you do a search for mirror, then go to custom content, you will see this mirror, the haunted mirror. That needs to go on a wall. So we'll pop that there. Go back into live gameplay. And there it is now. If you have a look later on, there we go. Can you see that uh, smoke at the bottom there? Bit eerie, isn't it? So what we need to do now is we need to get somebody to chant the name of a bride. So we'll get yes. Liz, who isn't doing anything at the moment. She's just chatting outside. So we'll get her to do just that. So she needs to chant bride's name. Now... Once she's done that, we'll see what happens. And it is a bit weird, and I'm not quite sure if it would work in like gameplay. But if you're going to do like a like a Halloween story or something, I'm sure it would be fine. Anyway, here we go. Right. And then outside. We get this character here. And she is the betrayed bride. So she's a bit eerie. And she's got this uh, chainsaw in her hand, which I've never ever seen her use. But she does kill people. But I'll show you how she, how she does that in a bit. But uh, So this is the character. She's a bit uh, bizarre. Now, I don't think she kills anybody in the house. Just sort of frightens them. So uh, these guys are really quite safe for now anyway. But there will be a time when they will. she'll probably return. But very shortly she should. Oh, now she's not done this before in a house. Now this is going to kill people around her. So the chances are these are going to die now. Yes. Look at that, she's killed the entire household. <laughs> oh, well, she's killed Jerry and Janice and Matt and Liz. Yes, they're all dead. She's killed everybody. Well, this is a short video. <laughs> I think she's going to 
hang around in the house for the time being. Um, I must admit, this isn't happened before. She's usually left the owners of the house alone and then gone away and then come back later, but she has decided. Oh, thank you, Mortimer. We are very happy to be in the Nehe board now with dead. <laughs> Yeah, she normally goes out and does a business and then comes back. Yeah, she's leaving now, look, so. We'll just see what happens. And where she goes. She usually makes her way over to, um, like, a busy park or something. I think that's probably where she's heading off to now. I'm not quite sure why um, Mortimer and Bella are following her. <laughs> if they know, oh, if they know what's good for them, they'd probably best not hang around. Yes, they're making a hasty retreat. <laughs> good idea. And now she's following them. So you kind of get the idea of what happens. You know, she'll sort of float around, do a business, kill people, and then she'll sort of disappear. Then just when you think that uh, normal service is resumed, she will pop back again and carry on doing what she does, which is kill people. <laughs> So I imagine everybody has been reaped now. Oh, not quite. Mind you, I imagine once these are all dead, then that's the end of the game, isn't it? Because uh, all my my sims are dead. Ah. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> well, anyway, that is how... The Haunted Mirror mod works. Oh! She got Mortimer as well. And Bella. So you get the idea. So that was the Haunted Mirror mod. And if everything works okay um, with this OBS software, we'll have a look at the uh, Life's Tragedies mod next. And sadly, that's as far as we got. I tried to record the um, the next mod, which was the Life's Tragedies, and even OBS couldn't handle it. And there was a lot of lagging, and eventually it just ground to a halt again. So I think the problem is with my PC. And I know I've been using it a lot this last two weeks because um, being um, an NHS employee, I have been working from home. And um, maybe... I don't know, maybe that's done something to the computer. I don't know. But anyway, um, at least you got to see one mod anyway. At least you got to see uh, me as well. <laughs> um, I don't know. I shall spend next week probably trying to figure out um, what is wrong and if it can be put right. So in the meantime, stay safe and um, I shall see you again soon. Fingers crossed.